Perched on the high Ponsagad Plateau in Utah, Bryce Canyon National Park is about four hours north of Las Vegas. Soaring pinnacles, gaping chasms, and an ever-changing landscape, stone woods and high woodlands, this magnificent picture of sand, stone, and sky is not a canyon, despite its name. It's a series of natural amphitheaters carved out by massive forces. 16 million years ago, the Earth's crust was formed. Since then, the unyielding forces of the fins, hollows, and hoodoos were carved by water, wind, and frost. That crisscrossed this surreal landscape, the plateau has long been home to humans. Many Native American tribes have hunted and gathered here for millennia. The southern Paiute is the most recent example. Ebenezer Bryce, a Mormon settler, gave the park its name. In 1870, he began ranching in the area. The cattlemen had trouble navigating the geological maze. Ebenezer relocated soon after, famously claiming that the amphitheater was dead. It's a dreadful location to lose a cow. The majority of visitors begin their adventure in Old Bricetown. To stock up on supplies and get a taste of the Old West, stop by the visitor center when you get to the park's core. To learn everything there is to know about Bryce Canyon, maps and trip planners, as well as road and weather conditions updates, are all available. Follow the Bryce Canyon Scenic Drive from here, which stretches the entire length of the park, the majority of trailheads and viewpoints are on the eastern side of the route. Many visitors begin their journey by driving to the farthest point south. On the return journey, to avoid crossing traffic at every stop, by car, you may travel at your own pace. Alternatively, you can use the regular shuttle bus that runs throughout the summer. Park your car at Rainbow Point and walk to the overlook from there. Take a look north at the spectacular landscape that stretches out in front of you. Then let yourself be enveloped in the fresh aroma of spruce and fir. As you make your way to Yovimpa Point via the Bristle Cone Loop, the park's highest vantage point. The grand staircase spreads out in front of you from here. On clear days, you can see all the way to the Arizona border. Grand Canyon National Park is on the outskirts of town. After you've started your journey back north, Black Birch Canyon offers even more breathtaking views. Where the ground below falls into a tiny ravine surrounded by sandstone fins and hoodoos, which are eroded rock pillars. Each viewpoint along the picturesque route offers a unique and breathtaking view. The ethereal landscape of the park. Continue north to the Ponderosa and Agua Canyons, where you can see even more massive statues. Sculpted by the hands of time, they are waiting for you. According to mythology among the Paiutes of the South, once upon a time, the canyon was home to a race of greedy, rude creatures. Coyote, the trickster god, became enraged and turned them all to stone. The spooky hoodoos that embellish these amphitheaters are made of their petrified bodies. The plateau is a living, breathing canvas. Mother Nature's labor will never be finished. Her ruthless hands are capable of breaking even the most monolithic constructions. Look down through the arch at Natural Bridge. Once a sturdy rock wall, time has gradually chipped it away. A five-minute drive north, at the aptly called Farview Point, Bryce Canyon's sweeping vistas are a must-see and the National Monument to the Grand Staircase Escalante. Then, for more more spectacular views, take the short hike to Piracy Point. Stand atop the rim of Bryce Canyon, the park's namesake, a bit further north. A six-square-mile amphitheater with magnificent views. There are numerous perspectives along the cliff's edge, which can be reached by vehicle or shuttle. Alternatively, you can hike the entire 11-mile rim trail or just a portion of it. Bryce Point is a natural wonderland. Cast your attention down at a maze of orange-lit drip castles, and west, towards the canyon's window wall. Then, amid ancient bristle cone and ponderosa pines, continue the rim route. Before reaching Inspiration Point's high cliff edge. Drive to Sunset Point or continue along the rim trail. And look over the cliff into a sea of jagged crimson spires. The Navajo Loop Trail descends from Sunset Point. Entering the amphitheater through towering fins and pinnacles, weave your way down via Wall Street's arching corridor. Then past the silent city, an uninspiring clump of hoodoos. Extend your hike on the Queen's Garden Trail if you have the time. Enter a cluster of hoodoos through magical passages. Is a shape that bears a striking resemblance to Queen Victoria, presides over her stone garden, then, on the rim trail, continue your ascent to Sunrise Point. If you don't want to hike down into the amphitheater, there are other options. From Sunset Point to Sunrise Point, 
take the paved section of the rim trail. This stretch of the trail is accessible to wheelchairs and strollers and provides some of Bryce Canyon's most breathtaking views. As you gaze out at the shifting landscape of sunset-colored spires, terracotta cliff walls and coral fins, in a single glance, you will be able to see the work of hundreds of millions of years. This is a place whose majesty will make you feel insignificant. There's something both humbling and liberating about it. So come, take a walk in the shadows of giants. And stand on nature's colossal shoulders. Bryce Canyon National Park is a national park in Utah.